I was recently laid off from my job. It was really out of the blue. Uh, I really thought I was secure in my job. I nothing going on. I had never been written up. It was great. <laughs> And then all of a sudden I was laid off. I mean, our company is doing fine, or I shouldn't even say our company anymore, but the company is doing fine. I can't really talk too much about that because, you know, there is a pending lawsuit, but we'll see what happens in regards to that. But that's not even the point of me making this video. The point is I was laid off and my fiance and I have decided to sell our house and everything that we own and purchase a yacht and uh, travel around and uh, live life differently. So um, I'm gonna be in the process of selling my house. We've talked to a realtor. We've gone to check out some yachts already. I'm thinking about a catamaran. Uh, hopefully, hopefully sell it in the next few months. We'll see what happens. But um, you guys are more than welcome to follow along on the journey and uh, like and subscribe. Okay, so this is basically what we have left. There's Zena. She's waiting patiently. We have sold everything or given away everything. This is literally all we have left to our name. We are about to pack it into the car. Oh, that too. And head out. We're gonna drive across the country first. And then um, we're gonna fly over to the boat in the Virgin Islands. Here we go. This is kind of a big moment for me. I'm leaving corporate America. So I'm packing up all my clothes. We're moving on to a yacht. Sounds pretentious, but it's not. Um, anyways, um, these are all my work clothes. So Josh is in a meeting. Um, we are completely packed. Everything is in the car. We have consolidated everything we own to like four suitcases and a couple backpacks. Um, it's been the hardest. It has been so hard um, trying to leave my family and my daughter. My daughter's the hardest. I've never been away from her ever. Um, and I know it's hard on her, just as hard as it is on me and neither of us know how to act. So it's really hard. Um, my sister, I love my sister so much. She's literally my best friend um, and my mom. Mama hasn't been feeling well. But at the same time, I'm so excited. I'm so excited to see what's next. I'm so excited to go on this boat and have this adventure. And it's just such a weird place to be in. Um, giving away and selling all your stuff and then leaving everybody that you love. Um, that's all I have for now. I'm gonna fall apart. <laughs> Okay, so we just realized that this car that we rented, which is a Toyota Highlander, basically drives itself just like the Tesla. So now the trip across the country uh, to get to Florida is going to be so much better because I don't have to like pay attention like I would just in a normal car. I'm so excited about that. All we're missing is dog mode. Paul Zener. What kind of dog do you have? Um, she's a lab. She's cool a lab. charcoal lab, though. Oh, so, okay. yeah, she oh, looks cool. kind of like a Weimaraner, but she's not. Oh. It's different than the Tesla. Just like the Tesla. Goodbye, Sacramento. Bye, Sac. Until next time. Love Sacramento. Yeah, she loves Sacramento so much, she throws in that extra T. She loves Sacramento. Love Sacramento. Okay, so, so far we've made it to New Mexico. I feel like trash. Um, I worked so hard for like weeks before we left and now I'm just driving constantly. It's the second day. Um, I probably need another shower. I just feel so dirty and dusty. My eyes are swollen from crying so much. Um, but we're doing it and we're in New Mexico and tonight we are gonna be staying in El Paso, Texas. So, let's say hi to Zena. Hi, Zena. She's having a great time. I'll check in later. She's flinging it everywhere. <laughs> Look at yourself.
You get the goods? Pack my fudge for me. I got fudge this time. <laughs> and you got it packed. And I got it packed in this bag. Oh, Why are you learning more forces? All right, Zena. Here's what we're not gonna do today. We're not gonna feed the alligators, so stay back. You hear me? I wanna see a gator. No parking, 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 no parking. I don't think they want anyone to park there. What do you think? First time over the Mississippi River. Yes. Are you excited? Uh, yes, I'm excited to see the Mississippi. This is an interesting bridge. Yeah, it's going to be brown and all. Yep. Brown waters. Look at it. Is that my SSI, SSI, PPI? <laughs> Weirdo. <laughs> it doesn't look so brown from yeah, up here. Yeah, it doesn't look brown from up here. This is fine. A lot of history here. I don't know what it is, but there's a lot. <laughs> What do you think so far? Of Florida? Of just the trip. Oh, um, so the trip has been exhausting, but it has been pretty good. We made some really good time across the country. Yeah. And now we're seeing a cute little- Residence um, Inn. Yeah, a Residence Inn that's like an apartment. It's really cute and um, there's a lot of stuff close by. Well, we're out on our morning walk. Uh, this is our apartment for the couple weeks that we're here in Plantation, Florida, waiting on the boat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. And I just have to be able to have no strength. everything fogs up as soon as you step outside yeah it's great that's how we got into the wrong uber yesterday <laughs> <laughs> we walk out we were expecting an uber <laughs> that was the funniest thing and you want to tell the story okay so yesterday we came outside because we thought our uber was here and i there was a car pulling up and josh said oh no, that's not our Uber. And then the guy rolled the window down. It was like, Josh? And we're like, oh, maybe it is our Uber. So we jumped in the Uber and we start pulling away. And then the Uber driver said, oh, <laughs> the ride just canceled. Did you cancel it? And Josh was like, no. And then he finally was able to look at his phone after his glasses cleared and we were in the wrong Uber. And it was just a coincidence that two Joshes in the same hotel called the Uber at the same exact time. How often does that happen? Never. He's like, we're just trying to get to the bank. He's like, well, that's far for the bank. There's plenty of closer ones. <laughs> So then they canceled the ride and oh. we just paid him five bucks. So what did we just do? Just ate a cookie. It was really good. The hotel gives the cookies in the every afternoon. I was talking about with the dog. Oh. But yeah, we just took the dog to the vet to get her health certificate. So now she's all set to go with um, Kim tomorrow. Um, and Kim is going to keep her until she gets on the flight. And hopefully she gets to St. Croix by Thursday or Friday. I don't know. We shall see. So we're just gonna go drop her off somewhere and then we just start getting our lift back. So it might just take us a couple of minutes while you wait um, for us to drop her off. Yes, yeah. nice to meet you. There she is. Yeah, she 
shaker. Very attached to us, though. I'm sure, right? <laughs> yeah, of course. Okay. Yes. I know you. It's okay, I promise. Okay, yes. we'll see you soon. Okay, oh, yeah. oh, yeah. yeah, I have mommy's stuff. There we go. She's like, no, give it back. <laughs> All right, thank you. All right, you. absolutely. Bye, Nancy. It's okay. She's gonna be like, Whoa, what are you doing? Head to your top off of residence in Fort Lauderdale for a Oh, station. she's gonna be so sad. Her or you? So the best. Bye. So, are you ready? I'm so ready. I miss Ragazina already. Well, what are we gonna do right now? Right now we are all packed and we're about to head out to order the Uber Excel because we have so much stuff. And then we're gonna check out and go to the airport. And get ready to go! Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Go. Get ready. Go. Get ready. Oh, what? Wait, what's in your purse? My purse, like, right when you open it, bro. Like, right when you open it.